Welcome back to Gallery Z. We're located on historic Federal Hill in Providence, Rhode Island, on the west side of Providence. Going to present you a new exhibit, our 10th exhibit of 2019. Uh, we have one more exhibit, November to the December together, and then we go on our 20th anniversary, January 2020. Presenting this month, the entire month of October 2019, art educators who have stepped foot in the state of Rhode Island as professors in academia, who have taught personally, privately to other artists or other students. Uh, we are representing 12 artists in this exhibit. Uh, unfortunately, we have one artist who's passed away from Vermont. Uh, most are, of our artists uh, are local and uh, regional and national artists from around this country. So just presenting you very slowly uh, some of the artwork of the uh, arts, such as works of Rhode Island artist educators. That's the theme of the show. Again, our 10th anniversary of 2019, uh, 10th exhibit of 2019. And then we were going to walk through a couple of the artists' works here, and I'm going to talk about some of the artists' works here. This end piece here starting is Mark Audi, who actually is the one of the artists that passed away in the exhibit in, back in 2013. He was born in 1960. He was a painter, taught at the Vermont Burlington University Art Department. A wonderful man. Unfortunately, uh, we lost him about six years ago. And we have a few of his pieces that we're going to feature. Uh, we're going to be passing now artists from Peru, the artist by the name of Nilton Cardenas. Nilton was born in 1972 and he's been in Rhode Island for about 15 years. A wonderful artist. He represents his culture symbols. He, he shows all the colors, all the energy. And all this work, his particular work is on acrylic on paper. Some of his work is on oil on canvas, but we're only showing a number of small pieces of his body of work. We have had many of his exhibits in the last almost 20 years at Gallery Z. And following will be again Mark Audi, uh, that uh, was the first painting that you looked at, uh, followed by again Nilton Cardenas. Uh, Nilton Cardenas, a beautiful original painting. It's acrylic on paper. And it's uh, In Front of the Gods is the title of this piece. Nilton always showcases symbols of his culture, the Mayan Indian, and from he's from Peru originally, and all the uh, gods, all the symbols and symbolic uh, uh, colors, and all the logos in there. Uh, then we're coming back to Mark Audi's work. This is the last piece that we will be showing his case. His work in uh, uh, Mark's works. Uh, this particular piece is one of our artists who have been showing about a dozen years, uh, Eva Romakowicz, who is actually originally from Poland, and she went out to Midwest, and then she came to Brown University. Then she uh, graduated from illustration department from Rhode Island School of Design. And this piece of the large piece is a very beautiful uh, painting, original painting, oil on canvas. And then we have this other smaller scale piece that's called Skyward. It's a more recent painting. And Calm Ocean Side down here is an older painting, very simple scene, some subtle, uh, subtle works on the ocean. Following is her very dramatic night scene. She's an incredible, uh, plays with lots of light. And this is also oil on canvas, and this is called Night Light. Over in the middle of the gallery, on the middle walls, you will see one of our featured artists, actually my mentor from uh, about 35, 40 years ago. Uh, artist, a uh, very established artist, lives in Jamaica Plains, Massachusetts. Uh, born in 1931, Lawrence Sykes, Larry Sykes, 
Uh, he retired from Academia, Rhode Island College Art Department in 1995. He led me and taught me a lot in, in art and how to deal with photography and cropping and editing, the language. And moving on, uh, this body of work actually is most of his background is his own photography. He calls this body of work conjugraphs. And conjugraphs are uh, pieces of art that are assemblage, collage art, 3D art. And he's using mostly his own photography with backgrounds and travels. And most of the photography is all his, the background photography is his own artwork. And then finally is, uh, this particular last piece is called uh, Corner and Seville. Larry Sykes, beloved mentor of mine, showcasing a wonderful quilt, artist, painter, a Renaissance man, a good friend, Bob Dilworth. Uh, Bob has created artwork all his life, a professor at University of Rhode Island, ex-chairperson of University Art Department of University of Rhode Island in South County, uh, this is a quilt that he calls it Dorito, and it's, a, it's actually a three-panel piece. And uh, he's writing, say, of some time back, he bought himself a sewing machine and started to think about all these fabrics that he had been collecting for many, many years to incorporate in this three wonderful piece. Uh, Dilworth is a, a painter of a human body and always a storyteller. Born in 1951, highly educated, traveled, exhibited in large museum collections. I'm very proud of Bob. And this is the first time we're actually showing not his painting, but his quilt work, his sewing work. Tastefully done, very well balanced, beautiful colors. It's a piece that I'm really proud to present at the gallery. As you enter the gallery on the right side, you see two wonderful pieces. Uh, a dear friend, wonderful painter, a local Rhode Island artist by the name of Anthony Tomaselli. Anthony is, wakes up 5 in the morning, 4.30 in the morning, he's a very spiritual fellow, puts all his paintings under layman. He's already created almost two, three bodies of work. He's an educator, he's uh, connected with the Providence Art Club on the board, and also a painter, has a studio. This particular piece is one of my favorite pieces, and it's called Atwell's at twilight. So at Wells at twilight. So this uh, is a painting that present, represents uh, uh, St. Joseph Church uh, and there's not much color in there if we notice. There's a lot of sepia tone and when he was painting scenery I said Anthony please hold off on your color. I love this piece. Uh, actually this particular steeple at this uh, church was hit twice with a lightning in the last 40 years. It's down the street from the gallery. This particular piece is a painting of uh, by Brian O'Malley. Actually, Brian O'Malley was uh, the second artist, uh, second exhibit in 2001, our second exhibit after our creation, January 2001. He was the artist, uh, solo artist, 2001, February. Uh, this is called Tripping After the Fallout. Uh, he's a very interesting artist also. Uh, University of Rhode Island professor in a few other campuses and then we go on uh, passing my little cactus here another piece of his so it's called Nordic happening and then when uh, a little bit later you will see some large two large paintings in the back wall of the gallery that represents some very big large pieces of his. when you enter the gallery you go to the left you'll see another wall this one depicts two different artists, both educators, again, art educators, both born in 1950 and 1942, very established artist. Starting with this photograph represents a scene in a club, and it's a very romantic scene. It's silhouette of a musician, a double bassist, Jimmy Sutton, Smoke Daddy, and it's a a piece of art that Philip Palumbo, an educator and last year retired from the communications department at Rhode Island College actually, I taught there about 30 years and he is a Rhode Island native and Rhode Island 
living here, but probably soon enough going to be moving to North and South Carolina. And uh, to the right here, we have one of our own very active artists, Lee Shabbat, uh, a painter, a teacher, an educator. I love this painting. It's a painting depicting a, a small, uh, his own perspective, a very a la etcher. Uh, the title is Inside the Museum. Love the bright colors and perspectives. Lee just captured this his own way. And then up above, we see the sky now very naive, very flat, very wonderful colors, very warm tones of the sky now of Providence. Uh, very simple with a mighty Wanaspatakit River and that little bit of dramatic sky and a silhouette of all the buildings, including our Superman building in Providence, Rhode Island. A uh, wonderful artist, Evan Molino. Evan Molino was born in 1976. He's from Havana, Cuba. He's a painter. He's a musician, another Renaissance man, a percussionist, a, a teacher in painting, a teacher in percussion and music. This particular very large, large painting, uh, it's a good size painting, 66 inches by 50 inches. So Society Warriors is the title of this piece, Society Warriors. You could see what's happening. Uh, there's the, the green side here, our nature, the ground, all very neutral, but everybody is yelling, upset at each other. People are mad, there's weapons. There's madness in circle, there's war, there's anarchy. People are very upset. Look at this. It's a wonderful depiction of what's happening actually today, society. Uh, wonderful piece, original piece of work. It's a acrylic on wood and it's mixed media because he's got lots of fabric and other things. Uh, he's also one of artists we've been showing about 17 years uh, in Rhode Island. And finally, he's got some of these smaller scale original paintings, very reasonable, uh, that he presents to us in various scales. And they're wonderful, delicious. They're cookies, I call them. They're delicious pieces. They're just pieces that you can take and mat them and frame them. And, and you just, for $150, you cannot go wrong with these. And by the way, we ship free in the continental United States. And we are a tax-free zone. Uh, we save yourself 7% uh, uh, state tax. Fine Art Gallery, all representing a dozen artists in this exhibit of 2019 in October. And again, 10th exhibit, very proud. Uh, so I want to show you some of my work. Uh, I don't usually show my own work in my own gallery, but a couple of my assistants twisted my hand and they said, Bert, art educators, Rhode Island, because I used to teach at Rhode Island College back in the early 80s. And uh, I said, sure. So come on with me and I'll show you. This body of work, uh, which I call it the human anatomy, is a body of work that I did. I photographed about 25 models, male, females, sometimes females and males together, or two females together, and dealing with the body of the human and uh, in form and shape and color, and then got the color out into shooting just black and white and composition. Uh, so Human Anatomy Project was in 1989 and it, it worked with multiple, multiple people and it took months to photograph and finally exhibit. And this is just three out of about 46 body exhibitions. exhibition.